Hello everyone. So this is a video uh, which is on preparation strategy for the subject of machine design. So many people may be wondering, do we need to have a preparation strategy for the subject of machine design? We require, uh, you may be requiring for uh, subjects like tougher subjects and subjects which are having very high weightage like subjects like manufacturing, strength of materials, thermodynamics, etc. But do we need to have a preparation strategy for machine design or not? But I say, but I would like to say it is yes. Here, preparation strategy means like not only knowing what to do, it is also knowing what you should not do. So in this video, I'm going to clearly give you an idea what you should do and what you should not do so that you can do the practice or you can do the preparation of a particular subject or basically the machine design subject in this video to the optimum level. If you are unnecessarily wasting your time on this particular subject or investing more amount of time than required, then you are wasting time of other subject where you are supposed to invest that amount of time. So to be careful, you should know about these particular things. That's all I have kept in this particular video. So basically you all know whenever you complete a lecture, listening a lecture, you can go through previous gate questions and test series basically. So this is a basic uh, idea of preparation strategy or uh, basically every preparation should be containing. So you should solve previous gate questions, you should listen the lecture properly, then you should solve all the previous gate questions of machine design. Understood? Now, when you are solving previous gate questions of machine design, you tick mark or you mark the questions which are not direct questions. Fortunately, machine design is a subject which is 90% direct questions. They will not or they cannot put any tricky question and confuse you. 90% questions are straightforward, regular type questions. Understand? You can see all the previous gate questions there. So, remaining 10 questions, questions will be there. So, while solving previous gate questions only, I require, I advise you people to mark them clearly. Now, I would like to say your preparation for the subject of machine design completes here. You will be surprised to listen to this. What about test series, sir? If you are having time, you can go through test series. Okay? But I suggest you, because test series mostly are for practice, to see the variety of questions. These are the two things on which test series are emphasized on. Practice, variety of questions. In machine design, you don't need practice. Mostly questions are formula based. So you just need to understand the formula, apply the formula, get in the answer. That is, there is no more practice required for that. Second one is variety of questions. First in machine design, they are giving questions which are of same type again and again. Like I said, 10% questions will be different if you see the previous gate questions. So, if you mark those 10% questions and if you just revise those 10 questions before going to examination, then you will be ready to face a variety of questions. That's it. You don't need to go through test series and uh, waste your time. But if you think you can gain, you will get good amount of confidence only when you go through test series, you can go through that. But from my point of view, like as being a faculty of machine design, I would like to say, you don't need to go through test series. Understand? But in test series, anyways, you will be giving full length papers. Anyways, if you don't do test series questions for machine design, you will be going through, uh, uh, you will be going through and completing other subjects and then you will be going through full length papers, which are called in Gate Academy, in the Gate Academy as all India mock test series. So you will be getting some couple of questions in those test series. So those questions should be sufficient enough for you uh, to have a variety of questions. So you can skip solving subject test and chapter test questions of subject test and uh, chapter test questions of machine design if you want to do your practice in an optimized way. Many people may be joining uh, for the gate coaching, uh, gate, gate coaching in the month of uh, summer, in the season of summer, etc., where they have time only of six months. Those people can simply follow this. You can simply avoid test series, chapter subject test of machine design. You can simply uh, solve previous gate questions and practice that. Clear? But here you have to keep in mind that before going to examination, maybe two days before, three days before, when you are doing revision. So for machine design, you completely give good amount of time and revise your notes properly. I am telling revise your notes only. Don't go through VP Bandari textbook and tougher textbooks and waste your time by solving unnecessary questions, unnecessary models. So go through your notebook, solve the questions which are given in the classroom, etc, etc and solve the previous gate questions once again. And make sure you are completely solving and freshly, that means freshly solving those marked 
unique questions or those 10% marked unique questions. So you'll be ready to tackle different variety of questions. So you go through, if you go to the examination by following this thing, definitely you can have 100% marks in the subject of machine design. So gate preparation, doing hard work is, that means uh, doing hard work is equally important as doing, that means doing, being smart is equally important as being or uh, doing hard work. So many people miss this part. How smartly you can do the preparation? How smartly you can bypass or uh, stop unnecessary work and get good number of marks? Many people miss this part. So in this video, we the Gate Academy people, we the Gate Academy faculty are advising you to clearly tell you, are advising you and clearly telling you what you should do and what you should not do. So if you're following this, definitely you can increase your score. So I wish you all the best. So prepare well, follow the guidelines given in this video and score well in your gate examination. Thanks so much everybody.